I am doing a blog for today. Yes, a blog for today. I got sort of philosophical finally being home and being able to drop in and let down. So this is my blog for the 13th of March, 2023. In my mind, I live in a castle that is up high on a hill surrounded by the icy waters of my home. The ocean below holds a treacherous current that few are willing to navigate, and I am grateful that it is so. I retreat to this place in my mind to regenerate and heal. Life holds many surprises and often requires a quick response, but there are days when the only place to be is this retreat from what the world of humanity offers. To those sensitive in heart and soul, the drama of mankind seems too too awful and foreign to engage for very long. I understand why there is such a strong desire to retreat from the trappings of the human mind. The mind entices with the hope of finding peace, but the requirements are often terribly taxing, and the end result seems too far into the very distant future to feel any immediate satisfaction. That is why I go to this place. It is empty and yet totally full with what is true. It needs nothing from me, nor does it desire me to do or act in any way other than to become one with it. In the lofty heights, I see far ahead into the vastness of the unknown and I feel only peace. In the wildness of the wind, I feel my emotions come and go. They flow without the mind attempting to make sense out of them. It is much easier that way. As I walk along the carved stone paths in my mind, I feel the wisdom of those that came before me and place some of my own wisdom into them as I walk barefoot on the smoothed footpaths of my ancestors. That is where we can find real truths. And the truths found here are soothing to an exhausted mind. When we recognize that what we have done that we have done all we can, then we see that there are greater patterns that surround each life and that we have no control over them whatsoever. I watch and wonder if I will be graceful and gracious through this life till the end. I listen for the wisdom that acceptance offers when striving is no longer necessary and when my mind is no longer able I feel the fates in life unwinding the threads in this ongoing process of creation and dissolution. I know the angels prompt me towards an end that only they can see. And I recognize that what once was will all be unraveled to be eventually spun into a new pattern of threads and colors at another time and place.